All right, we're back on this Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is real short, anymore, so let's jump right back. Into it. So, last time I was on here, we had just got done with beating Prime, and just came back after Vegan exploded and put me in the ICU. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. For what? Man, it's ran out the hype to go on a mission and then got blown down. <laughs> Come on now, you can earn it. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Right, they would have been worse, but you you did a little song. You contributed. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Mm. Not that. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, just Commander. Just fine. Just fine. Hey, Chalk Boss, I'll get to you in a sec. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Oh, you suck, Kate. You don't even want to talk to me. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. I was about to say, you thought you was going to find love in the military? Yeah, that turned up. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Save your country and you do it right. I respect it. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What type of compl complication? Hey, if he not fit to serve, let me know. Because if he get me killed out there, it's on him. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Oh, that boy get one, one bad headache in the middle of a battle, he's done for. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. He done for. He get, a, he get a bad headache. He's done for. Where am I? All right, whatever. What, what's happening? 
Alright, y'all not talking. Um. And go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. All right, go talk to Joe. Hi, Oz. Wait, I'm not. Hold on. I wanna, wanna Normandy's vehicle bay is a squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. No equipment may be purchased from the requisitions. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Hey, you. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased, but I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Yeah, what do you got? Um, I would, okay, good. I, I got, I got nothing by them. A grenade upgrade. Alright, this is everything I have. Uh, wait. Everything. My bad. Alright. A lot of. I, I, I got nothing. We got 1340. Can't even buy nothing with that. Whatever. Get the. Can't even sell nothing. Alright, whatever. You got it. You got it. I got nothing. Broke. Broke is a joke. Is over here. Engineer Adam. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Uh, it happens. We live in the time. Alright, uh, I guess that's everything. Gotta go to that man Joker to bring us into dock. I understand. Don't wanna do it himself. Gotta help being lazy, not doing his job. Stop treating me like I'm some type of standard soldier. I'm the best man you got in the military. Presley. Team back here.
I'm breathing so heavy. He barely even ran. Uh, I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Uh, <laughs> All right, Joe. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Taxpayer money. All right. <laughs> Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. an outrage! In and out. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The what Turians do don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. You know. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Assume. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. I'm saying. They were not assume. happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Eh, uh, dangerous. And if he dangerous, he ain't dangerous, he more dangerous than me, so let me go take care of him. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. I the know, mission I on done Eden enough. Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. He That's was Saren's weak! Fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation Turn turns up back evidence on, to support on, our on, accusations. On Otherwise, the council might use this as an excuse to keep you uh, out of the specters. Come with me, Captain. I want to go he over a few things doing. before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. I don't need clearance. I'll walk throughout this place. That's why I hate place. politicians. Give me both. Politics. Current locations are marked by your Access it. Alright. Um, CSEC Academy. Vina and. Alright. Seems like I know where to go. All the posting arrows. Radar to the Citadel Tower. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just. This is serious. My reputation is at stake. Hello there, human. Sincere apology. 
but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Oh, thank you so much, by the way. appreciates us. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. I know what I care about, bro. Do you want to say? You don't I'll care about really believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Hey, Nile is more of a... You know what to me. By far. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Alright. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Oh, so y'all got order over there on y'all side. I respect y'all for that. Because, um, our government all sides are fucked up. Here. Uh, what do you do here? Oh, that's the Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. I get it. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Hey, uh... I was there for the hours. I ain't trying to go... Get wild. Rip. Can't go through that door. This door. Where are we now? Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Best. You know who I am? Yeah, you know who I am. Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. 
What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent uh, trillions of citizens, politics. it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. The homie now just got dropped earlier. If it was me, I would have been took out of Sam. Not turn my back on him. Man, let's turn his back on him. He had to come. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, uh, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. I see her. Is she real? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel Security. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. How are we opposed? Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. So y'all got mad because we, we actually had purpose and we actually had showed our worth? Y'all just like hate on us. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. No feelings. Go figure. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. What do you mean lesser species? All complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. 
Uh, specters. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. All right, and finally, the Citadel Council. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Oh, really? You don't slip and say. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. All right, Csec Citadel Towers were supposed to be. I think I'm the elevator to Csec is located on the ramp to your left. Lines docking. I have myself in this. Let's talk to the council. Okay. Alright. Citadel Tower is a small white structure. Far off to your right. Tall white structure. Tall white structure. All white structure. All, all these tall white buildings. You gotta be more specific than that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What? Man, you just. I just saw something. Okay. Citadel Tower. To your left. To my left. This thing? Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. I'll disturb the keepers if I want to disturb the keepers. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. She get it. That man, Udina. Udina, Udina came in like he was on one. Try to stay in his place, man. All right. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. That, who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Don't like Saren? Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. 
man. The, the council waiting on me. I get there when I feel like it, bruh. Needs to fix out shape up, my brother. The line is lopsided. The bolus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The human All right, that's private so transit. All right, so talk to the council. The talk. hearing's already started. Come on, man. Look, it can start whenever. Y'all was waiting on me. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. Hey, what can you expect from a human? Come on, see, like, come on, typical. Too, too easy to read, bro. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place. Shepard. Oh, we you're not to ready to join our the council. All right, can I just like join the specters? He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Wait, and look. At this point, let's put me and him in a room and let me go ahead and take care of business, all right? Let me just, I only, I only need like 30 seconds to, to a minute. But because he really making me mad right now, give me just an hour so I so I can tell him, hey, I don't get tired. Then I'm gonna beat him for another like ten to fifteen minutes afterwards. And why y'all protecting this man? Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue: Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? You're not innocent! I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? I, you ain't trying to hit me out. Oh, blind, bro. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Ain't been served yet, but it will be. This meeting is adjourned. Adjourn these nuts. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. I know Saren. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. Stopped how? You see the council not even on our side like that. What's our next step? As a specter, he's virtually untouchable. 
We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. See? Garrus a good Tarion. He's not a hater like Nihilus. Even though Ny Nihilus wasn't Nihilus wasn't bad. And he definitely ain't no ain't no like Saren. Man, Saren, you need you need to get dealt with. Personally, by my hands. What's all I'll talk to him? Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Got him, sir, better. Man, my man Anderson. Come on, now he, 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 he peoples, bro. He my people. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Oh, corny cornball. Uh, probably getting drunk mm. at Cole's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Got any other leads for me? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Of course it won't. Everybody want money. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. Obviously. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Too independent, man. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. That... Uh... Harkin. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Yeah, I'll Roughing say. up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The Embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Mm. If one goes too far, they get organized, already chosen. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. 
The council's always looking for exceptional individuals. They all look at Saren and thought the job he was born to be like a special. Yeah, that's her though. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. And Sarah, Sarah just happened to pop up on Eden Prime. So something's about to happen. And he's acting like nothing about to happen right now. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue? Like Saren. It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. All right. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Cool dude. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Honest. Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right, I think I'm going to stop right here for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. It really helps the channel out. And yeah, see you next time. I'm out. Peace.